So today in the Burton Builds garage, we get to weld up a custom set of stainless steel hinges. And I'm gonna use my Thermomax ProTig 200 AC DC. So far, I've been super happy with this little machine. And uh, I had this project on the go and I thought to, to myself, you know what? Let me contact Thermomax. Well, actually Unique Welding is the company and say to them, I've been really happy with their machine are they willing to send over one of their welding helmets? Because I have been using an old auto darkening welding helmet for a long time now, and I think it's time for a new one. <laughs> so to my surprise, they sent me a brand new welding helmet. So this is the True Vision WH-02 adjustable solar helmet with True Blue technology, <laughs> designed and assembled in South Africa, and it's got a two year warranty. I wonder if I still get the two year warranty since I didn't have to pay for this. Nevertheless, I'm super excited to have a new welding helmet. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be a nice addition to the, uh, to the collection of tools that we've got in the, uh, in the workshop here. And there it is. It actually looks really, really nice. Oh man, I'm excited to use this thing. Which way does this go? Oh, there we go. Check that. Lacquer, man. So the plan for this set of hinges is that once it's all welded up, it is going to look something like this. Now, of course, this is not welded up yet, but we've got a part, uh, this section over here, that bolts through our existing security gate, and then this section will bolt onto the wall. And of course, the goal for today is to weld on these two little ears and weld this bolt around our turn section. So this whole lot is made up of basically these components. This is uh, just a bush that we turned up on the lathe. Of course, we've got a bolt that I cut the head off. We've got two little ears, a couple of washers, another bolt uh, through there. And then uh, this uh, top hinge looks a little bit different, but it serves exactly the same purpose. We eventually, uh, this section will be uh, welded onto there, and then our hinge will rotate like that.
So I managed to get everything welded up and this is the end result. And I'm super happy with the way it came out, especially because I was able to use some of the scrap stainless that I had lying around and put it to good use. So these hinges are eventually gonna hold up this gate that we've got right here. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite large. Also super stoked because I was able to recycle uh, this gate. Uh, it was originally a, a rolling gate that was probably almost twice as long. I ended up cutting it almost in half, which is kind of why it doesn't really look symmetrical. Anyway, cut it in half, welded on a new right-hand side, a new top, extended it a little bit higher. Ended up just migging this whole uh, thing together, so using a MIG welder. Um, and pretty happy with the way it's turned out so far. So yeah, we might have to break out that MIG welder again pretty soon. There's another two gates that I need to make, but we'll leave those for maybe some future videos. So to give you an idea, this is how the hinges are gonna to attach to the frame. Now, of course, we do still have to cut the bolt shorter, put on washers, nylocks, et cetera, but I think you guys get the point. So I'm sure you guys noticed that during the video, we were chopping and changing between two different welding helmets. One of them being the new Thermomax helmet and the other one being my original auto darkening helmet, which we'll get to what that is shortly. But my aim or my goal by chopping and changing between the two helmets uh, was to try and give you guys uh, a real life view of what you would see through the helmet when you are welding. Now this is a little bit tricky because of the various filters that are in each helmet and because of the, the wavelength of light that is emitted during the welding process and how all of that interacts with the filters that are built into the camera and the lens. So that said, uh, I'm sure you would have noticed that there was kind of a helmet that looked a bit green and there was another helmet that looked like a more of a natural colored helmet or a natural colored view. So, um, those were the two main differences. You would have maybe also picked up that the green look or the green helmet almost looked a little bit brighter, like you could see just a little bit more. And the natural colored light helmet uh, almost looked a little bit dim. Now, these helmets were both set onto their setting that can let um, the most amount of light through for welding. So that the not the darkest setting, like the number nine on both helmets basically, but the lightest setting before the grinding mode. Um, and to the naked eye, let me tell you that, I don't know why this happened and why I couldn't capture it on, on camera, but to the naked eye, even though on camera the green one looked brighter, the natural colored light helmet was way more easy to see through and, and noticeably brighter. You could noticeably see more of your surrounding area, and more of what you were welding. So which helmet is which? Well, <laughs> I was very pleasantly surprised that the, the natural colored light helmet, the one that you could actually see more through, is the new Thermomax helmet. And the original helmet, the green looking helmet, is my original Transoc OHE 350. Um, so which one would I pick? Look, my honest opinion, hands down, if these were both on the shelf, well, technically they will be both on my shelf now, hands down, I would pick this one. Um, maybe you guys can let us know in the comments. You, you know, I'm not a professional welder, I'm just a hobby welder, so I do this on occasion. And maybe you guys are professional welders and you can let us know what is the difference between the various uh, entry level and hobby hel helmets and uh, pro welding or commercial helmets. Let us know in the comments so that we can all learn about these helmets and about the welding process. Um, so yeah, that said, just remember that uh, Unique Welding or Thermomax did give me this helmet. No money changed hands though. Um, but something to note is they just said, Grant, here's a helmet, cool. And that's it. They didn't ask me to say anything nice about it. They didn't ask me to review the helmet. Uh, I, just, I just thought it would be nice to you know, make a nice comparison, especially because when I was buying uh, my TIG machine and my helmet, I didn't know any different. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was quite a while ago, but I just took the first helmet off the shelf and it worked and I didn't know any different. But now that I do, <laughs> in the future when it comes to choosing helmets, I'm definitely gonna shop around. Also something to note though, and I, I think they told me that they are coming out with a version two of this helmet. Not sure when, I think pretty soon though, supposedly sometime this year. But maybe we could even get our hands on version two and then we can do some A-B testing with all three of these helmets. Well, A-B-C testing, I suppose, with all three of these helmets. I also don't have a trolley for my TIG welding machine. So 
that may be another, <laughs> another project, a good project to test this on. We'll kind of fabricate something up and uh, yeah, we'll see what comes out the wash. Anyway, hope you guys found value out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and uh, you'll see me in the next one. Cheers.